So I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible. I'm putting this out there only for my own protection. I want this out there. I'm going, I'm being set up is what I, is what's happening. Um, so the same guy that I spoke about a, a while back, he, he will follow me around and he'll mimic certain gestures that I've made in the apartment. Um, you know, and he'll just wait for a response, you know, and then he'll actually hold his, his, his phone up to me, his camera pointing at me to try to record me giving a response. And I, I try so hard not to, um, right? So as I was leaving today, and I, I had I had to go out today. I had to get a pick up a prescription. I, I couldn't, no other choice. Um, so as I was leaving, I waited a while for the elevator, like just close to 10 minutes. And when I got on, he was there. And the way it, there were other people in the elevator and the way it was set up, there was only one place for me to stand, and that was facing facing him, directly opposite of him. Um, the only way I could not face him would be to turn around and look at the wall, or like the elevator wall, and that would make me seem weird and, you know, crazy and antisocial, and no target needs to be labeled those things, right? We don't need to give people any more of a reason to think there's something wrong with us. So I got onto the elevator. I had my camera set up uh, this time around my neck, and... It wasn't recording. I was going to record as soon as I left the building. I should have started as soon as I walked out of the apartment door. He's facing me. He doesn't. He mimics my gestures from in the apartment. I mean, he exactly. And I, I you know, I do weird things like I, I have tics and, and, and shit like that. So and then there's that injury, too, you know, which, you know, I kind of so it. He, he will mimic exactly, but no one's going to assume that he's mimicking me. They're going to think that that's just him, right? It's because it's not so crazy that, that no one would do it and that it would have to be, you know, so I, and so he's doing that and I'm staying calm. I'm trying to fiddle with my, my cell phone to start recording, you know, quickly enough to catch him. And I know by that point he's going to stop doing it, but at least I'll catch him. You know, I'll show that he was in the elevator with me when I got on. I barely started recording just as we all walked. No, we were about to walk out. I, I got a quick, I think I got a quick shot of him, you know, in the elevator. And then as we we're walking out, as he's walking out, I waited for a second so I can capture him doing that. Um, okay, so then I went into another area of the building. I had to do something before I, I actually left. He had waited for me. And as soon as I walked around the corner to, to, to start walking to the, to, to the exit, he left throughout, he, he left, okay? So I, you know, and I went out, but it looked as if I was following him, right? That's how they set it up. And th this happens, this has happened more than once where, you know, there have been times where, and it's always, you know, we'll tar both targets and perpetrators can come from all groups. You know, it, it doesn't matter, race, gender, it doesn't matter. Um, but when it's someone trying to set me up, it's usually a white guy, right? Um, I, I've had them, literally follow me for blocks and blocks and blocks only to, you know, finally when I stop and say, you know, what, 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 what the fuck, you know, then they'll, they'll walk ahead of me quickly and they'll go into the same store I was going into and I go in after them and it looks like I was following them. And, you know, and by that point I'm angry and they turn around and they, they play the victim. So I have to be very careful with these guys. They're, they're, they, they try to provoke just so when you respond, they can play the victim. They can pretend you're the one following them. So, he stopped and he, uh, you know, he, he he fiddled with his phone for a while and I stopped because I, by that point I was recording and I wanted to see what he would do. Hopefully he would give me some footage or, or make the gesture again. I, I don't know. Anyway, we both walked on then. Like he started walking in one direction and I walked the other direction because the store I was going to was in the other direction, right? I had to go to the pharmacy, which was in a store, which was the totally other direction, the total other direction, opposite direction. Um, so we walked off in different directions. Um, so I got to the store. I I went and I got a few things before I, I stopped at the pharmacy. So, you know, it, which in the store. So as I'm going to, I'm heading to check out and I notice the, almost the lines are full except for one. There's only one that's relatively, um, it, it's not very long. And he is in that line. Okay, what do I do? I could get into a longer line or I could get behind him, which gives him again another reason to say that I'm following him. Even though the cameras in the store would show that I had to have walked in before him and I know I had to because he had gone off in the other direction. 
right? Um, then he saw me, he, 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 and he, then he, he took his stuff and went even farther away. Like, it looked like he was trying to make it seem like I was following him. Like he was playing the victim. He's trying to set me up. And that's what I'm worried about. Okay, fast forward. I, I, I pay for my stuff and I go to the pharmacy, um, get my stuff, leave the store, walk home. You know, I walk into the building and I go around. I, I had to do something else in the building before I went to the elevator. So I did that. Then I, I, you know, I, as I'm going back toward the elevator, there he is again. And he works here. So, you know, I mean, he has a reason to be here. But there he is again. I'm thinking, oh shit. They're, they're going to, they're, they're gonna, you, literally, he's going to say that I'm following him. So I, I walk past really quickly to the elevator. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'm standing here. He's going to come around the corner. He's going to do it. And sure enough, a few seconds later, he came around the corner, stood there, his camera facing me, recording me, okay, trying to provoke me. And he was gloating. He was smiling and he was gloating. It was one of those, you know, those looks that said, yeah, what's she going to do about it? Because he knows, he knows what he's doing. And he's looking, he's waiting for, for me to give a negative response so that he can show it to other people and try to make it seem like I'm the bad one here, like I'm the crazy one, right? Um, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. And then, then he walked off. He just stood there for a few, few seconds, maybe 30 seconds, pointing his camera at me and then, you know, smirking and smiling and then walked off. Didn't even get in the elevator. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's happening. You know, we have to be so careful. We have to be so careful because you don't want to be labeled crazy or mentally ill because we know there are serious consequences that go along with that. And you don't want to be sued for defamation either when you can't prove what they're doing, right? You know, again, with guys like him, people can have all the proof in the world, you know, that, that he's, he's done something. People can have actual death threats and no one's going to do anything about it. No one's going to take it seriously. That's how it is, right? Guys like him can get away with anything. And so what do we do when we don't have enough evidence? We can't prove it. You know, we know what's happening now with a, a certain situation that's been going on, um, you know, in, in the world where a certain element is now suing people who accuse them of abuse. And that is when the people have plenty, and they're winning too, and that is when the people have plenty of evidence. So what do targets do when we don't have evidence, right? So we have to be careful. Um, Anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm just recording this for my own safety. You know, he's following me. He's following me. And he's trying to provoke. He wants me to know he's following me. He, then he'll hold up a camera and wait for a negative response. So he can try to, so he can use that to show them or, or try to prove that I'm the bad one, right? This is what's happening. Um, this guy, you know, because I, I, I can't put up a picture of him, I do have one. I'm keeping it. But, um... He's tall, maybe he's like six six foot tall, um, san sandy blonde hair, kind of a, a sort of thin lips and a sort of a almost conclave jawline. Um, you know, if you've seen people who are toothless, you know, elderly people who don't have teeth, how their their jawline kind of it folds in, it's like conclave. He's kind of like that, though not that extreme, not that extreme, but that's kind of what he reminds me of. And it's weird because years and years ago, I had a dream about a, a guy like that, except in the dream, the guy was totally bald. And I don't even think he had, um, I don't even, I don't even think he had eyebrows or eyelashes in the dream. And, um, I don't know how tall he was either. Um, thin. And, um, all, I, I only remember two things. One, the massively conclave jawline that that's what stuck out the most. And another thing, he had a very wide nose, uh, in the dream that took over his whole face, right? And, and the guy in real life and, that I saw, you know, that's in this building does not have that, that kind of nose, the, you know, the wide, the really wide nose. But it's just weird. It's just, it's, it's weird. I'm, I'm just putting this out there. Okay, he's following me. He's following me. He wants me to know it. And he's trying to make it look like I'm the one following him. 